um, speaking very soft because everyone is still asleep and I don't want to wake them but I couldn't sleep anymore so I decided to get up and I have my still set up and I want to do some frankincense steam distillation um, I'm all out of lotion and I really just want to get some fresh hydrosol that I want to use in the next batch of lotion that I'm going to be making and um, I have this, mm, this beautiful smelling frankincense from Ethiopia this is about a pound and I'm not sure what kind it is but I believe the person had told me it's uh, frankincense for Yana or Boswell, uh, Boswellia for Yana and there are basically five types of frankincense that contain the boswellic acids that um, a lot of people look for when they are buying frankincense so I'll probably uh, do a post or something about that at another time but um, for right now I just want to start this uh, steam distillation and share it with you and um, before I start I just want to let anyone know that has never worked with frankincense before frankincense um, can be a little bit tedious or messy to work with um, it gets sticky you know when you're grinding it up or after it's been distilled so you will have a little bit of cleanup to um, deal so, with. So right now I just wanna take my pound of frankincense and wrap it a little bit because I'm gonna be putting a hammer to it because I just wanna break it up a little bit some of the bigger chunks and get some of the aroma you know out um, it's kind of like when you're dealing with uh, herbs you know you want to grind them a little bit before you um, steam them and so on so that will help to bring out all the aroma and break down some of the bigger pieces so this is a part of my still that's gonna contain the the frankincense for the steam distillation and I just stuffed a cheesecloth I'm using a cheesecloth to um, put in this section and then I'm gonna add my frankincense in there just to help protect the still a little bit and also because it has holes at the bottom so it will help to keep all the small bits in during the distillation so I'm just gonna pour that in so a pound does fit in here very nicely I just cut off some of the excess um, of the cheesecloth because it was just too long and I don't want to cover it too much so I'm just gonna close that off a bit cover it now I just want to add some water to the main pot and I'm just gonna put everything together so I went ahead and I have everything all set up and I start my stove out on a low setting and I like to take my time if I need to turn it up higher I'll do that but I like to start out on a low setting so I have my pump going uh, soon I'm gonna have to add some more ice in there as you may know you have to keep this um, the condenser cool so I have a pretty good flow going and maybe in about half an hour 20 minutes or so I'm gonna come back and we should start seeing some action coming over and I prefer to do steam distillation rather than just put my product directly in the pot just because with the stainless steel stove uh, still you can't really see what's happening and um, there's nothing worse than 
burnt smelling frankincense I don't like that smell at all and that has happened to me so um, I haven't had much luck just putting the product in the pot because I just don't have enough of uh, control so I rather to do the steam distillation with the frankincense to uh, minimize my product um, getting burnt so I'll be back in about half an hour when we'll start seeing some action and it's been less than half an hour and this thing is like clockwork and I'm starting to get some action I don't think you'll be able to see it coming down the pipe but there we go I'm starting to get some consistent drip and eventually um, not eventually but um, I had originally added some water just above this uh, marking right here just in case you know any oils or anything I didn't want it to uh, come back out and come over so I just added a little bit of water just above there and now it's going so I turned down my stove and I'm gonna let that uh, go for a while and see how much I can collect and my pump was being super loud and then I realized that I didn't have it fully submerged in the water so I'm um, so I added some more water I'm about to add some more ice because uh, this thing here is getting warm so I'll see you in the end so distillation is already done I've already um, turned off everything and cleaned up and I was able to get a nice beautiful clear hydrosol that's pretty much how much I collected I uh, for after an hour and um, so this is eight ounce and this is a little bit more than eight ounce so I'm happy with that and um, I still have a little bit in here that I'm just gonna drain out so and this one is about 4.5 ounce so I'm happy with the outcome um, no oil separated everything is just all dispersed into the hydrosol so um, I'll do another distillation um, with my glassware for my essential oil but for now I'm just gonna use this in for the water portion of my um, lotion that I'm gonna be making the other good thing about making your own products is that you'll start to recognize when you buy a product from someone else or you know on the market you'll start to recognize if it's 100% pure if there's something else in it or whatnot because you'll just basically discover what it really smells like so smell alone amongst other things smell is one of like the easiest ways that you're gonna be able to tell what you're dealing with and this particular frankincense that um, I just steam distilled the hydrosol smells pretty much like the resin 